This is a teardown of some Universal Remote Control branded equipment. This is an RF sensor, RFX-250. And it's part of the MRF-350 RFS series equipment apparently. Two different part numbers. And this is a base station, model MRF-300. And I believe this is basically some automation equipment for commercial use. At least that's what it came from, was a bar. They, as far as I can tell, based on the IR transmitters and stuff, they were using it to control their stereo receivers and other equipment. Looks like the base station might have some screws hidden under the rubber feet. Yep. Ah. <laughs> a too aggressive there. Stab the right through that foot. Try not to stab my fingers. Ah. <laughs> and I don't expect these to be too interesting. They're definitely built to the bottom dollar. A lot less here than I was expecting. Just your basic shell. Looks like there was some uh, infrared stuff going on in the front because there's this uh, IR filter here. I think it's yeah, it's it's transparent to uh, infrared light and some visible light. Yeah, there's really not much to this. I'm guessing that these transistors are being used for amplification since those um, potentiometers were used to control the output levels. With a power regulation on the side there. And then there's a Samsung chip. Let's see if I can zoom into that and get it readable. And that's the brains of the operations. <laughs> Not much to that board. Pretty boring. All right. Well, and this would be the RFX 250 unit. My assumption is there's not be much to this either. Got under this cover. Oop, screw holding the board down. I'm surprised I didn't make this stuff snap together. Oh, geez, there's even less on this board. Appears to be permanently attached. Interesting. The Maxim branded chip on there. That must be control circuitry for the wireless function of this. And then just some indicator LEDs and then some input stuff. And basically nothing on the back side of the board. So hopefully that was interesting. Thanks for watching.